hello my name is Tunde Victor and in this video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make your eyes and teeth white and also how to change colors of the eyes so I'm just gonna open these two photos in Photoshop right now I'm using open with Photoshop because I already edited the pictures if I've not edited the pictures I'll use edit with um, Adobe Photoshop but I've already edited so I'm going to be using open with Photoshop so I'm just gonna click that right now and we're gonna wait for it to load and these images are good are going to open in Photoshop now the pictures are in Photoshop already and you can see I've already done the skin work for these pictures so I'm just gonna delete everything I've done for the pictures because I'm going to be working on just the eyes I'm going to come here and hold shift and just slide down and um, press delete and as you can see this is the before I'll do this for the other picture I'll hold shift and click on this one this layer here and copy everything I've done and delete them so this is the before and uh, we're just gonna do eyes and eyes and teeth whitening for these pictures and how to make the eyes pop generally so the first thing I'm going to do for this picture is duplicate the layer by pressing ctrl J or command J if you're using a Mac and I'm just gonna zoom in the eyes and as you can see all these red veins I'm gonna remove them using the patch tool this right here is the patch tool this right here so I'm just gonna remove the veins with that and I'm gonna do that for the single eyes just like that cycle on the red vein and put it in the clean part so I'll do that until I'm okay okay I think I'm good as you can as you can see the before and the after before and the after so I'll do the same for the second eyes right here Just select on the parts you know you want and um, use it to fill the part that has the white vein. I think we're good. So you can see the before and the after. So if you I already have my eyes and teeth whitening action here. This is my eyes and teeth whitening action. So if I just click here, it's gonna run the action. And I can just pick my white brush and paint on the eyes. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to create this action in my next video, but I'm just gonna delete it right now and start from scratch. So first thing you do is go to your adjustment. First of all, you want to desaturate the image. So you bring your saturation down. And next thing you want to add brightness to the to the eyes. So you bring your brightness up. Like that I know the image is looking somehow now but don't worry then you add a blue filter by clicking on photo filter here this photo filter to add a blue filter then you decrease the density a little bit and you put everything here in a group by pressing shift and this vibrance down and ctrl J ctrl G sorry or command G if you're using the PC then add the layer mask and inverse the layer mask by, by pressing ctrl I or command I then after that just paint on the eyes paint on the eyes carefully so I'm using a soft round brush to paint I'm using a soft one brush I'll do the same for these other eyes if you want to check your brush settings just 
just click on this menu right here to see your brush settings my hardness is on zero and i'm using a soft one brush so that's my brush settings and the opacity is 100 the flow is 100 so i'll just paint around the eyes like that and if i make any mistake i just pick my eraser tool and erase like that so i'll do the same for the teeth i'll just brush on the teeth too like that okay so you can see how before and after how before and after if you feel it's too much you can always reduce the opacity right here just reduce the opacity a bit okay i think this is okay i like it like this you can decide to stop here if you want but i'm going to take this a little bit further I want to make the catch light on her eyes pop. If you don't know what catch light is, it's those um, reflection of light on her eyes. So I want to make them pop a little bit. So what I'm going to do is come to my adjustment again and click on curves and um, increase the wave a little bit. And I'm going to invert by pressing Ctrl I or Command I if I use any mark. So I'm just going to pick my brush again, my white brush. Remember my white brush. So I'm going to paint only on the catch lights on her eyes i'm going to do the same for this one you can see the before and after the before and after just a little difference but that makes the eyes pop too just see the before and after so i'm going to change the colors on her eyes right now so what i'm going to do right now is click is open um a new layer and i'm just gonna paint on the eyes like this so with my white brush i'm gonna be using a white brush and i'm just gonna paint on the eyes like this it will make the subject look as if she's wearing a cut out lens so I'm just going to do that and come here also like this be careful so you don't paint on the black just paint around the black on the eyes so after that I'm going to go to my filter and Gaussian blow I'm going to use radius tool to blow it and it will look like this look at it before and after so to change the color i'm just going to open my hue and saturation and add a clipping mask to it by pressing here to add a clipping mask so i'm just going to click on colorize right here and um reduce the brightness the lightness down you can see the eyes are already changing so you just got to pick any color that works for you for this image i'm going to be using this this blue right here I'm going to reduce the opacity as you can see the eye color has changed already so that's how you add contact lens to your eyes so I'm just going to group everything by pressing shift in this group right here down and pressing ctrl G to group them so we can see our before our overall before and after this is where we started from and this is where we are right now and for the other image i'm going to change the colors of this blue contacts to make it look like this orange right here so what i'm going to do i already duplicate the layer so i'm just going to click on my hue and saturation i'm going to invert by pressing Ctrl I or Command I on Mac. So I'm just going to paint on this color right here. If you want to see what you are painting, just click on Colorize right here. 
and what your painting is going to show as you can see now I can paint well and see what I'm doing so I'm just gonna paint on the blues on the eyes only on the blues like I said don't paint on this black right here I'll do the same for this other eyes like that so after that all I'm going to do is just play with the such increase the saturation I think I over brush as you can see here so I'm just gonna use my eraser to erase it out so after that I'm just gonna play with the hue you can see you can change it to a different color any color you want and I'm just gonna leave this one in the yellow in the yellow right here so that's how you change um, contactless if the subject already has contactless that's how you change the color thank you so much and if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment and also subscribe see you guys in my next video